so in the last video we have seen how in a structure your load is transferred from your slab to the beam then to the column and next to your foundation okay so in this video we learn how actually the load from your slab is transferred to the beam okay normal load path is slab to beam beam to column and column to foundation and then from foundation to your soil okay now what happened when the load from your slab is transferred to the beam say this is your slab okay this slab is thoroughly loaded okay a area load is there and these are the beam which is carrying the slab now what happened whatever load is there in the slab in this region they tend to divide it with this beam equally so you can say that 50% load goes to this beam and 50% load goes to this beam okay so we can assume that the slab actually become divided in like this four part and each part or each line makes 45 degree angle with the adjacent beam you can assume it and this way all the loads of the slabs are transferred to the beam now what happen if the slab becomes like this okay where length is too much compared to your width or what happens when your length is equal to your breadth so this distribution of your load is totally depend on the geometry of your slab okay so based on that geometry this load is dis dispersed or distributed within this beam and based on that your slab can be divided in two part okay first one is your one way slab and second one is your two way slab so just consider this is your construction site and this is the slab you have to cast yesterday tomorrow and this is the length 10 feet and width is 6 feet okay and this slab is supported by this four side beam this one this one that one and that one okay so now we have to think how much load is carried by this beam based on that you have to provide the reinforcement similarly how much load is carried by this beam based on that you have to provide the reinforcement similarly this beam and this beam need to be designed so if you don't know how the load of this slab transferred to this beam you cannot design this beam that's why it is too much very much important for you as a civil engineer to know how a slab transfer your load to the beam okay and then beam to column so in this video only we will focus on slab to beam transfer okay so we will discuss about the load transfer of this slab panel at the last of this video after understanding the basic concept of one way slab distribution and two way slab distribution okay first one is one way slab what i have said just the beam tend to take all the load equally that's why you can imagine a 45 degree angled line of the slab and based on that the load is coming to your beam okay so in this case also say this is the slab okay its length is 10 feet and width is also 10 feet but the supporting system is in this way the beam is there that means your slab become only 5 feet in width and in length 10 feet okay so you can just imagine the slab become half so what happen you just draw a 45 degree angle and again a 45 degree angle in this side also a 45 degree angle and like that so the load come like that this much load is taken by this portion only and all this load major portion are taken by this beam and this side this beam so what we can say that majority of load is taken by this beams that's why there is no beam in this side you cannot see any beam this side okay this is the main beam which is support or which actually support this secondary beam 
so there is no secondary beam in this side that's why in one way distribution we assume that all the loads actually goes like this half goes that side and half goes this side this is the basic of your one way distribution one way load distribution so this is the slab a b e f okay and this is the secondary beam this one is also secondary and this is secondary what is secondary beam secondary means uh, your beam actually rested on some other beams here you can see this i section or this beam is actually supported on this beam and this beam this is not directly supported on the column that's why it is known as secondary beam not primary beam here the primary beam is this one okay so here secondary beam a b c d e f how much load they take you can just simply divide the slab panel in the middle or 2.5 feet away from the support now 50 percent load goes there and 50 percent goes this side again for this panel just draw a line in the middle 50 percent goes this side and 50 percent goes this side so you can see that the secondary beam cd takes the load of this portion okay and the ab takes only for this portion similarly ef takes only this portion now we will see how much load actually coming on cd okay so how much total load is actually per square feet 100 pound okay so if we just multiply with this amount of length or 2.5 we get 250 and this is nothing but a udl just connect this this is applied on cd as a udl and from this side also 250 pound per feet as udl so total load on cd is 500 pound per feet not square feet because we have already multiplied one side length that's why it is per feet it's from area load it has become a utl or uniformly distributed load so this is your cd now you can see this cd is actually rested on this beam this is the primary beam bf here is the bf and this is the cd beam we have just calculated the udl on this beam this is the udl and this beam is supported on bf okay at d clear this is the d and on that side on c okay and the beam was a e a e was primary beam for that side okay so from this point now you can calculate the total load on cd this is nothing but your 500 into 10 total length is 10 so it is 5000 pound and it is equally divided on each support so for each support we get 2500 pound and this is the load on your primary beam you can see here clear so now you got the primary beam load from that you can analyze that this primary beam whether it is shear force or bending mode you can find anything now you have got your one way distributed load from slab to the secondary beam then secondary beam to the primary beam now you will see how actually two way load distribution happened just due to geometry if your length is say is not more than the twice of your width in case in our example the length is similar to width so simply draw a 45 degree angle in each corner like this so here you can see like the previous example there is no chan in case of one way this was very small amount compared to this area that's why we have already neglected this one and simply we draw a line in the middle and divide the load in two part okay but here there is no chance 
because here there is no beam in the middle so the slab act as a singular one and each portion is equal so you cannot neglect any one of this so this is the two-way distribution why two-way the load goes this side also load goes this side also or, or two perpendicular side that's why it is known as two-way okay similarly i have just draw the 45 degree and divided this slab panel in four equal part based on your dimension this triangle varied so this beam this particular beam carry the whole load in this region okay and this beam carry the load coming in this region like that so let's see how much load is coming on each beam okay so your area load is 100 pound per fit okay now so this is the beam ab okay this is the ab beam and this is the load coming to this beam so what is the length 5 feet based on 45 this is the middle so 5 into your 100 becomes 500 check it in your calculator and this ordinate become 500 pound per fit based on that you can find each ordinate because this is the triangular distribution okay and now you got the load on AV now we can find the reaction on B or the load for which this column need to be designed or the bending moment at this section for which your beam AB need to be designed like that so at the very first what you need to know you have to know how much load actually coming on the beam or how the load is coming only after that you can analyze the beam and design the beam so in our example what was the dimension of the slab this was 10 feet and this was 6 feet so obviously width is not less than or 10 length was not more than twice of your width twice of your width means 12 but in this case it is only 10 feet so 2 OA distribution will be happening let's see how the load from this slab goes to this beam I have just drawn a 45 degree line you can by tape you can practically check it at your side okay now the beam this side carry the load in this region this triangular part and this longer beam or this side beam take all the load in this trapezoidal area all this region when loaded all this load carried by this beam only okay 